Wait, wait. Not anybody. Don't talk when I'm talking. Wait. Don't talk when I'm talking. Do you understand English? Why not, sir? Do you understand English? Okay. Why not? I'm speaking English. I think you can't understand English. I understand. Then why are you breaking the rules? In question and session, you cannot interrupt. You cannot talk in between. Do you know that? Because I'm you cannot. You know, the question. again you're talking. So, my question, um, the first question will come out from your lecture. And I want us to just clarify that before we go into... Brother, can you speak a bit slowly because there's echo. So, can I have your name? Mention your name, but speak a bit slowly because there's a problem in the system. Too much echo is there. Yes, brother. Okay. So, I said my first question is from your lecture. Uh, which I want us to clarify that before maybe we we'll move into other questions. Okay, so my question goes by like this. You were saying there in your lecture that God doesn't have a son and it is the most derogatory thing to him, for him to have a son. You actually make some other examples like... I can't hear you, brother. Okay, you said... The monitor no, speakers are very bad. The monitor lecture that God doesn't have a son and it's a big derogatory to him to ascribe a son to him. And you even said um, how people should react if how people should react if um, something derogatory is said to probably our parents. Uh, but I want to go into first of all the clarity about God having a son or not. And I discovered from checking the Quran, Quran does not, Quran, maybe we'll pick it one after the other to see some of the things that Quran says and um, be able to say, like Quran chapter 30, 39 verse 4, I want to read it here, but anybody can also read it, Quran chapter 39 verse 4. I can't hear the last part, what did you say Quran says? Finish the first one. No, no, what was the reference? The, the reference, Quran chapter, the first one. Quran chapter 39 verse 4. Okay, fine. I got it. So, brother, let's go to two verses. Surah, just go Surah Zumar chapter 39 verse number 4. And Surah Anam chapter 6 verse number 101. And Surah Zumar chapter 39 verse number 4 says, If Allah had intended to take a son, He could have chosen from what He creates, whatever He willed. Exalted is He, He is Allah the one and prevailing. Now the brother is asking a question. This means, if Allah wants, he can take a son. And similar in Surah Anam chapter 6 verse 101. So brother says that Allah can take a son if he wishes. That's the question. Okay. But the verse is very clear. If. Yes. No. But it does not. It is not befitting for Allah to have a son. Complete the full verse. If you read this context, it says in the, in the first verse, Unquestionably for Allah is the pure religion. And those who take protectors say, We only worship them who may bring us nearer to Allah. Allah will judge between concerning them. Indeed, Allah does not guide who is a liar and a disbeliever. Read in context. Don't read out of context. So Allah is saying, these people are liars and disbelievers. Then Allah says, if Allah had intended, that means Allah does not intend to take a son. It's a, it's a, it's a telling. So read the context. It says, unquestionably for Allah is the pure religion. Allah does not guide who is a liar. And a disbeliever. Then the next verse starts. So don't quote out of context. Correct? If you quote in context, you come to know Allah is telling all those people who say Allah is Allah the son, etc., they are liars. And then Allah says, if Allah had intended to take a son, he could have chosen from what he creates, whatever he will. Exalted is he. That means he's far above having a son. Okay. So this, let me complete. You ask the question? Now listen to my answer. Don't interrupt. Understand? Yes, you, you don't understand the Quran. Yeah, Allah is saying they are liars. What you are doing, you are taking a verse from the Quran out of context and trying to misguide. In context it says that this is all nonsense. These people are liars. And even the next verse. So from here we come to know if Allah wanted, He could have done Allah is far superior than this. Then coming to your next verse of Surah Anam, chapter number 6. Verse number 101. Verse number 101. 
It says, he is the originator of the heavens and the earth. How could he have a son when he does not have a companion? The Quran says, how can Allah have a son when he doesn't have a wife? Allah is giving the answer. How can Allah have a son when he doesn't have a companion? And he's created all things. When he's created all things, he doesn't require a companion. We were created. He is uncreated. So Allah is saying, how will Allah have a son when he does not have a companion? He created everything. So this verse is very explicit. Allah cannot have a son. There's another verse in the Quran which says, if Allah had a son, I would be the first person to bow. Quran says, if anyone says Allah has a son, tell them I'll be the first person to worship him. That doesn't mean Allah has a son. There's a verse in the Quran that if Allah had a son, tell them I would be the first person to worship him. That means Allah cannot beget a son. The whole Quran should be read together. You can't take out of context. Quran is very clear cut in Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allah Say he's Allah one and only. Allah who summoned. Allah the eternal and absolute. Lam yiraz walam yulad. He begets not nor is begotten. Walam yakul lahu kufana. There's nothing like him. So this is the definition of Allah. First you have to know the definition of Allah and then try and read the other verses of the Quran. You can't read out of context and try and misguide the people. Allah is telling you this word. There are people who are liars who will say this. Okay. So, let me finish. What okay? You ask the question, you have to listen to my answer. This is no debate session. I want you to just I have not finished the answer. Wait, the grand I have not finished the answer. Verse, 19, verse 20 to 21. I have not finished the answer. Okay, sir. Continue, sir. Do you understand English? Continue, sir. I understand. Why not? <laughs> I do understand. You English. can hear me. I cannot hear you because the speakers are there. Oh, sorry. Correct? Okay. So let me finish the answer. Okay, so the definition of Allah is in Surah Ikhlas, chapter 112, verse number 1 to 4, which says, Qul Allah ad, say is Allah one only. You cannot hear me also call, okay, this verse of the Quran says that Allah is two. <coughs> then there will be a contradiction. And there is no contradiction in the Quran. Allah says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 32, uh, al -Quran. The Do they not consider the Quran with K? Had it been from anyone besides Allah, there have been contradictions. So number one, there is no contradiction in the Quran. So you assuming that Allah can is nonsense. It says, if Allah wanted, that if Allah doesn't have a companion, how can he have a son? That does not mean that he has a son. Now coming to your question of Surah Maryam. In Surah Maryam chapter number 19, when Archangel Gabriel comes and asks Mother Mary, Mary Mary Salam, you shall have a son. She replies, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? How shall I have a son when no man has touched me? The reply given by Archangel Gabriel is, If Allah decrees the matter, he just says, be and it is. So when she says, normally yes, for having a son, you have to procreate. For having a son, you have to procreate. But the reply given by the Akhazi, if Allah decrees, if Allah wills, but Allah does not will. Allah can create Adam and Salam without father and mother. He created Eve with a man without a female. He created Isa and Salam with a mother without a father. If Allah decrees a matter, he will, but Allah will not decree ungodly things like becoming a human being, like having a son. That's for human beings. It, Allah cannot go against his definition. You understand? If Allah decrees a matter, yes. But did Allah say that? No. Allah says, He begets not knowing the begotten. So this is the definition of Allah. The moment he begets, he ceases to be God. The moment Allah has a son, he will cease to be God. Do you understand? If, if the definition of God in the Quran is Allah does not beget. He begets not, nor is he begotten. The moment you say Allah begot a son, he ceases to be God. Do you understand? Can I ask a question on that? Do you understand this? But if Allah begets a son, he ceases to be God. Do you understand this? That's Quran chapter 39. Quran chapter 39 verse 4. We negate that statement. If he intended, he did. If it's a question, for example, it is a sarcastic question. For example, it's a rhetoric. So rhetoric. If Allah had a son, I would be the first to bow. That doesn't Allah have. That's a rhetoric. 
If you are correct, I will give you a million dollar. But you are not correct. So if doesn't mean it is correct. You understand, na? So these are rhetoric questions. If Allah had a son, I would be the first to worship him. Allah doesn't have a son, so you don't understand English correctly. Because you don't understand English correctly, you are trying to say something and quoting out of context. First of all, you quote a verse out of context. If you quote a verse out of context, it will misguide the people. I got the correct context. Do you understand? Do you understand that you quoted out of context? Yes or no? If you want me to quote it from the uh, from the beginning, I can quote it. It doesn't Sorry? matter. If you want me to quote it from the beginning, like from you have to earlier, you have to. Can. We did not. Okay, that's not a problem. You did a mistake. I, uh, okay. That's you did a, a mistake. mistake. Yes. You have to apologize. <laughs> okay. You know, if I say, you know, Quran says Jesus is God. Say Do again. you know that? Quran says Jesus is God. Okay. Do you know that? Out of context. Okay. Uh, I, wait, wait, wait. Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter five, verse number seventy. No full context. Lakat kafr ladina kalu inna Allaha who are Masihub Numarima. They are doing kufr. Those who say Jesus is God. Yes, I agree. So Jesus is God is there in the Quran, but out of context. The context is they are blaspheming. They are blaspheming. Those who say Jesus is God. Yes. They are blaspheming. Blasphemy, not blasphemy. Why not? What is blasphemy? Is to ascribe, even according to Islam, is to ascribe another God to God. So if you say, if you quote out of context, it is devilish. Okay. If you did it purposely, it is devilish. Okay. So, so you have to always quote in context. You can't just quote half. Now your question is over. No. For I already answered your question. I, no, wait. I, Don't say no. You get three references of the Quran. I'm saying you I'm get three references so, of the Quran. Yes, Surah Zumur chapter 39 verse number 4. Surah Anam Surah 6 chapter 6 verse number 101. No, that's not the and all. Surah Maryam chapter 19. I answered all those three. I have not finished on that. I was still quoting when you decided you to cannot, answer This it. is not a debating session. If you want yes. to debate, you hire a hall. I will send my student to debate you. No debate. No debate. It's a question answer I session. Add the last verse. Quran chapter 21 verse This is a question answer session. You have that, to go beyond the queue. That the question. Quran chapter 21 verse 91. And Which one? Quran chapter 21, verse 91. 21, 91. Yes. And my question to conclude that number one question, which I'm Okay, this answer. is the last. This is the last reference you're giving. It's just 21, 91. Okay, what yes. does it say? Now, he's saying there that Allah. Do you agree that you made a mistake in the first two verses? Say yes. Say Otherwise, yes. I, the answer I gave. Now, are you convinced that the first two verses doesn't say that Allah can have a son? Do you agree or not? He said if he wants to have a son. If doesn't mean if I say if you are right, I will give you a million dollars. Does it mean you are right? That means it's not if you I to say decide, it's not me to are... decide. It's Allah to decide. If Allah wait, listen, 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 wait, wait, not wait, me, not wait, wait, not anybody. Don't talk when I'm talking. Wait, don't wait. talk when I'm talking. No, Do you understand no. English? Why not, sir? Do you understand English? Okay. Why not? I'm speaking English. I think you can't understand English. I understand. Then why are you breaking the rules? In question and session, you cannot interrupt. You cannot talk in between. Do you know that? Uh, because I'm you cannot. You know, so again, you're talking. Okay. Is this a debate or is it a question and answer session? It's a question, sir. So once you ask a question, you have to keep quiet. Okay. Thank you. You Christian missionaries. You are a Christian missionary. I mean, what? Are you a Christian missionary? I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Ah. I'm a Christian. Are you a Christian missionary? I'm a Christian. Are you a missionary? I'm a Christian. I'm just Are you a father or a pastor? Say that again. Are you a father or a pastor or a... No, I'm a Christian. Oh, you're afraid to tell your identity. Okay. You told 21, 21, 91. Yes. I, I've only put the verse. I've not said my question in it. So if you permit me to say my question so that you can explain it. Quran chapter 21 verse 91. So my question there is it and it's in that build up of that other question. Is that from that verse... Allah said he's the one who sent his angel Jibri to go and breathe his spirit into the private part of Mary. Now, I, I looking at it, even humanly speaking, that if I do anything to the private part of a woman, anything that comes out of it, I am responsible for it. Now, if it is Allah that sent his angel to take his spirit, and breathe it into the Mary, then Allah is responsible for that child. And that child is, is, is son of Allah. 
Likewise, like if I did that to a woman, it's my son. Okay. Did you understand my first two answers, yes or no? Uh, yes, yes. I will give this answer. Thank you. So sir. first two answers you understood. I understand. That you were wrong. I None? understand. I understand. You understand very good. So first two answers is agree that Allah. Now I'm coming to the last. Now you don't reply back, please. This is a question answer session. He did not tell the verse. The verse of the Quran of Surah Ambiya chapter 21, verse number 91 says, and mentioned the one who guarded her chastity. So we blew into a garment through our angel Gabriel and we made her and her son a sign for the worlds. He is saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blown his spirit into Isa alayhi salam. Correct? Yes, sir. I agree with it. Do you know Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hijar chapter 15, verse 29, Allah blew the spirit into every human being. Quran says, does it mean I'm God? Does it mean you're God? You don't understand the Quran. Allah says in Surah Hijar chapter 15, verse 29, Allah has blown the spirit into every human being. Allah says in Surah Sajda chapter 32, verse number 9, He's blow here, blowing spirit means Allah has put his knowledge into every human being, including Isa alayhi salam. Now the problem is, you read one verse, you don't read the full Quran. Have you read the full Quran? Have you read the full Quran? I've read as, as, as much Have as you read the full Quran cover to cover? Have you read the full Quran? As much as I can. Ah, as much as I can. He could read only five verses. No. Or ten verses. No. As much as I can means what? You are afraid to tell that, sorry, I have not read the complete Quran. This is time to beat around the bush. Now please don't answer. Your question is over. I've already answered your question. I've already answered your question. Now don't talk. I'm completing the answer. This brother came to deceive the people. As much as I can. He's afraid to say, I read 100 verses or 200 verses or 1000 verses. As much as I can. These are the ways the Christian mysteries, they try and attack. Good example a brother has given here. How I give in my talk? They come and knock at the doors. Now normal Muslim would have got scared. Quoting was out of the context. This is a very good example you have in Nigeria. This brother is coming here trying to deceive the Muslim audience. Trying to deceive the Muslim audience. The first two he agreed. Do you agree that the Quran says Allah has born the spirit in every human being? So every human being is God, according to you. He breathed the spirit to Mary in a private part. To all human beings, he just that is what the Quran says. Quran chapter 21, verse 91. Every, everybody can read it. Quran chapter 21. Go and sit. Go, don't waste your time. Go and sit down. Go and waste your time. Sir. 